Hi. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I made an update. I completely forgot last week. It just kind of slipped my mind. Um, today I am 22 weeks and six Friday, Friday. three days, three days pregnant. Um, not too, too much has happened. I've been feeling way more movement, which is so exciting because I can feel the babies on the outside. Um, I can't remember which is where. This sounds so crazy, but it was kind of confusing when he was showing me the ultrasound, so I'm not really sure where they're at. But I have another ultrasound this Monday, and I'm going to make sure I find out for sure where exactly each baby's at, which one's the little girl, which one's the little boy, and so on. Um, so I have my glucose test done, and my doctor never called me back, so I'm hoping it can't get that good. Um, usually they call me if anything's wrong. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so usually they call if anything's wrong. And I haven't heard anything in about a week and a half ago, and it really takes a day for them to get the results. So, I assume it's good, but I have an appointment on Monday as well, so I will find out then for sure if I have to do the glucose three-hour test or whatever. Hopefully I don't, but just in case, just to make sure. I've been feeling pretty good, so hopefully I'm not having any problems like that. So my symptoms this week, I've been having crazy, crazy heartburn. Um, my sciatica is still really bad, especially if I'm up cleaning or doing anything. Acne. My skin has just been like terrible. You can tell it's like all red, funny colors, and breaking out. It's just my skin is not reacting well to pregnancy, I guess. Um, I've actually started to get an appetite where I'm hungry and I can eat a lot more. Like not at once, but I want to eat more, and I've woken up a couple times and I'm hungry. So my appetite is definitely coming back now. I've had a lot of headaches. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my last video or not, but I've been having headaches that just got so bad that I couldn't do anything. And I've been like seeing spots sometimes when I have these headaches. I asked my doctor. She said it's okay. It's probably just low low blood pressure. Low blood pressure. Yeah, low low blood pressure. I can't say that. Anyway, so she said that's not a big deal. It's usually high blood pressure that they worry about during pregnancy. Um, my legs, like my inner thighs, have been really sore. Um, and kind of, I don't know. I'm pretty short. And, the, like, the extra weight from being pregnant. Like, I'm already not a little girl or anything. But the extra weight from being pregnant is just putting a lot of strain on my legs, I guess. And my back and everything. Like, I'm only five foot, like, one-ish. I'm not very tall. And being pregnant is just putting a lot of strain on my body. Um, le the last, like, few days, like, I've been getting, like, an extra, like, heavy feeling in my stomach. Like, my baby belly is, like, a prominent part of me. Like, it's an extra arm <laughs> kind of feeling. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just, like, I can feel it weighing me down more, and, um, I'm starting to have where, like, my ribs feel like they're pushing into my, um, uterus, I guess, I'm not really sure, but, anyway, it makes breathing a little bit harder, and sleeping, too, because I have to sleep, I'm so, I try to sleep on the left side, but usually I have to sleep on my right side, because that's the only way that I can get comfortable, but I can still breathe, um, I've been peeing, like, crazy, and I have to pee now. Especially when the babies are moving around a lot, then I have to pee. Or um, if I'm having like Braxton Hicks, then I feel like I have to pee. But a lot of times if I'm standing up, I'll feel like I have to pee and then I go to pee and I just can't pee. And it's really annoying, but it happens with Callie too, like all the time, so. Um, oh yeah, Braxton Hicks. So I had started having Braxton Hicks with Callie around the end of August, so about the same point in my pregnancy, um, this time, and they, with Callie, they weren't really bad, they were like, once in a while, I would feel it, whatever, but this time, I can feel it a lot, like, I definitely know when I'm having one, and, like, they don't really hurt, there was some pain last week, I'll talk about that more in a minute, but they don't really hurt, but I can definitely feel them a lot, and I feel them really low. Um, definitely every day, not really consistent usually, but, um, 
So, I'm going to talk about something that happened, I think it was on Tuesday. I'm going to say Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday. Um, we went for a drive on Tuesday, and I think it was Tuesday morning. I'm going to say Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, I had done quite a bit. Like, I just went on, like, a crazy cleaning spree. I cleaned my bathroom, kitchen, living room, this room. Like, I just cleaned my whole house. And then we had visitors, and I made breakfast. I just did quite a bit, and then I went into laundry. So I was doing quite a bit that day. I think I just overdid myself a little bit. But we went to go grocery shopping that evening, and we were in the car, and I was having breakfast and hicks, like, every seven minutes. I started timing them after about, like, the third time I felt it on the drive, and it's a half an hour away, the place that we go, about 45 minutes, I guess, with the waiting in line at the border, um, because we go to the States to get groceries, it's cheaper, but, um, anyway, I started timing them, and they were every seven minutes for at least two hours, and I was having a little bit of cramping feeling, but I wasn't real bad, um, and the babies were still, I could feel them kicking and moving and everything, so it wasn't too, too bad, I guess, but it was a little bit worrisome. So I had planned that we were going to go grocery shopping, whatever, do what we needed to do. I was going to try and just take it easy, drink some fluids, and then we were at Burger King, and I was having some pain again, like I said. Um... And that was before we went grocery shopping. And then we went grocery shopping. And while I was shopping, I didn't really feel any Braxton Hicks or anything. And so that was good. And then on the drive home, again, they were still every seven minutes apart. So we got home, and I laid down, like not to go to sleep. I just laid down, and I said, okay, if they are still happening in like an hour. I'm going to call my doctor or call labor and delivery and maybe go to the hospital. So I laid down for a bit, and I was fine, and I wasn't really feeling them anymore. So... I just, I'm going to ask my doctor about it, but it didn't seem like it was really causing too much of a problem. But I think if it ha something like that happens again, I'm probably, like, without, because I know I did way too much that day. I probably shouldn't have done that much. Like, I did a lot of stuff that day. I just overdid it. But if anything like that happens again, that I haven't really overdone it or anything, I'm definitely going to call my doctor. Um... So, I think I also might have started, like, nesting. Um, I didn't really ever get into that with Callie, like, you know, where you have to, you feel like you have to clean and you have to get everything ready and organized and everything all set for the babies. And that never really happened with Callie, but lately that's been happening, like, crazy. Like, I have to clean. I can't stand having dirty dishes. I have to have my floors swept. Um, getting lists and writing lists and birth plans and everything that I need to have for the babies and my plan is I want to have everything ready and prepared for newborn for two newborns to come home by the time I'm 30 weeks. That is because I expect to be put on bed rest eventually. I'm terrified of being on bed rest because my husband works night, my mother works evening, and I'm pretty much alone be alone with Callie evenings and nights. But during the day I could probably have quite a bit of help from them. But still, there's no way I don't, like, I, I can't be put on bed rest. Like, what am I supposed to do with my daughter? Like, there's nothing I can do. So, um, I'm really hoping I don't get put on bed rest. My doctor does understand that I do have a little girl, so I can't really go and not lift more than 20 pounds because my daughter weighs 20 pounds. Like, she's 8 months old. She can't walk. I have to lift her, like, these things are just, it's life, that's what happens when you get pregnant right after you have a baby, but, so, I'm hoping that if I can just take it easy and maybe start, like, getting my mom and stuff to help me with things around the house and stuff, um, that I can at least put off bed rest for as long as possible, and if I do get put on bed rest, I would rather be put on bed rest at home than in the hospital, but it might come down to that, so you never know. So anyway, my plan is to have everything ready by 30 weeks because if I get put on bed rest and can't go out and go shopping and organize and everything that I need to do, I hope it will be after 30 weeks. And after 30 weeks is when I want to start taking it very, very easily because of the such a high chance of me just 
going into labor. Like, uh, there's such a high risk of these babies being premature, not only because they're twins, but because of Callie's spontaneous premature delivery. So, I really just want to have everything ready by 30 weeks. That's my plan right now. Um, there's not too much we really need to get ready. We need to get clothes for the boy, because we have lots of stuff, lots of girl stuff. Callie only wore most of her stuff, like, once, maybe twice at all. Um... I need boy clothes, I need some bottles, formula, wipes, diapers, everything like that stocked up. I do plan on breastfeeding, but I want to have formula and everything just in case, because you never know. Um, I might change my mind just where it's going to be, I have to take care of Callie too, so I do need to consider her needs and everything when I make decisions like this, because I really can't be sitting on the couch all day long breastfeeding twins with a one-year-old running around like I'm just gonna have to see how these things will work out like but I do want to try and breastfeed at least at least while I'm in the hospital like if I if I can breastfeed while I'm in the hospital and not having to take care of Callie like that's fine like I will be proud of myself and happy if I can at least just breastfeed through the classroom like I don't know but that's my plan anyways I want to breastfeed um this video is getting kind of long, so I guess I'm going to end it there. I don't really have much else to talk about. I have a doctor's appointment this week, so I'm going to definitely, definitely, definitely update after that, um, I hope, especially if there's anything comes up with my glucose test or anything, so that's on Monday, so you may be hearing from me Monday, but I'm going to try and make another video after this anyway, so I will talk to you then. Bye!